guys, Melena Scantlin here. Welcome to Variety's This Week in Comedy, where we bring you the biggest news in comedy covering movies, TV, and the web. Ron Burgundy may be making his big screen return in this year's Anchorman 2, but he'll first make a return to Late Night with an appearance on Conan next month. That's right, guys. Will Ferrell will don the iconic burgundy suit and stash to promote his Anchorman character's new book, Let Me Off at the Top, My Classy Life and Other Musings, hitting stores November 18th. Yes, this is really happening. It's my gift to you. Farrell previously made a quick appearance as Burgundy on Conan last year, crashing the set to announce the sequel and start an unofficial feud with the host. Go into your doctor's office and point at your face and say, Doc, it's a page one rewrite. Oh my. This time, Burgundy will get a full segment, and you can check it out when it airs November 21st on TBS. Emil Hirsch has been cast to play John Belushi in an untitled biopic about the late comic's life. The film will follow Belushi's rise to fame, which was catapulted by a successful run on Saturday Night Live, as well as roles in films like The Blues Brothers and Animal House. I'm a zit. Get it? The comic's friend and fellow Saturday Night Live alum Dan Aykroyd serves as an executive producer on the flick, which is inspired by the 2005 Belushi biography written by his wife, Judy Belushi Pisano. And yes, guys, there will be plenty of laughs and nostalgic moments, but it will also cover the dark side, including Belushi's sudden and tragic death at the age of 33 from a drug overdose in 1982. Hirsch has showed off his range in various films from the Oscar-nominated drama Into the Wild to this year's indie comedy Prince Avalanche with Paul Rudd. The Belushi biopic is expected to begin filming next spring. Let's go! Come on! This call? Yeah. Sorry. I just I saw your face. Oh. The TV gods may have taken away The Office and 30 Rock this year, but coming soon is a comedy project that offers a little something from both. 30 Rock mastermind Tina Fey is producing a new comedy for NBC that will star actress Ellie Kemper, aka our second favorite Dunder Mifflin receptionist of all time. Kemper will play a woman who escapes from a cult and starts a new life in New York. Fay will oversee the series, which has already gotten a 13-episode order from NBC and is set to premiere next fall. I hope the story ends with you not beating mom, because honestly, at this point, I wish I was never born. CBS is looking to strike gold again with a potential spinoff for their hit show, How I Met Your Mother. Variety confirmed that show creators Carter Bays and Craig Thomas would be behind the project, which would give fans a female take on the original series. Basically, it would follow one woman's quest to meet her future husband, all while living in New York with a group of friends. Sound familiar? And get this, it might even be called How I Met Your Father. Daddy! Legend Daddy! And to create even more of a link to the original, we may see the new gang spending lots of time at Ted, Barney, Marshall, Lily, and Robin's favorite hangout, McLaren's Pub. How I Met Your Mother is currently in its ninth and final season. I'm here! Saturday Night Live got a ratings boost with Kerry Washington as its November 2nd host. The 30 Rock gig was a first for the Scandal star who did everything from poke jabs at SNL's lack of diversity to sing and dance in a digital short about nagging girlfriends. What does my girl say? The episode, which also featured musical performances by Eminem, drew a bigger audience than the season's previous episodes hosted by Tina Fey and Miley Cyrus. That's pretty impressive, considering Washington isn't exactly known for her comedy chops, but her ABC drama does have a huge following. It clearly followed her to SNL as well. This weekend, Lady Gaga takes the reins as the host and musical guest, just days before the release of her new album, Art Pop. And The Simpsons animators are bringing their talents to the web with a new cartoon series called Camp WWE. The adult comedy will focus on a group of wrestling-obsessed kids whose parents send them to a boot camp to become, you know, more behaved members of society. Of course, it's not as easy as they think. WWE fans may recognize some of the characters since they'll be inspired by the wrestling organization's real-life stars. WWE plans to put out 13 three-minute episodes on their sites, but they there is no set release date yet. Thanks for watching Variety's This Week in Comedy on Official Comedy. Be sure to click subscribe for all the must-see comedy moments from the world of TV, movies, and the web.